Lancome was involved in Prince Henry and our involvement related to master planning and developing the site. An important part of Lancome's involvement in this project was to respect the needs of the local community. I think Lancome had a vision and the vision did become a reality. It was about ensuring a community was developed and that those services that had been here for many years were looked after. The process for the Prince Henry Master Plan with Lancome was such an excellent example of working with a public authority for redevelopment on a site of national heritage significance and illustrating that you can redevelop, you can transform a site which had every type of heritage significance you could think of. The role of the nurses, the role of the medical teams, the role of the Aboriginal people who first inhabited this site. But to work cooperatively, to work with the local communities, in that this was the right thing to do, even when the fashion for urban design was so different. The most important aspect from my perspective of the project was the way the Aboriginal community consultation and the objective to preserve and protect and look after their heritage site and the stories that go with it. Lancome had a gentle approach right from the start. I'm really impressed by the way it turned out. The planning and the master planning and the design was all really customised, all very specific and very, very respectful of the heritage and the space and the environment here. Lancome never let go of that vision that this needed to be a really unique and customised response. It's been realised in the way it was envisaged at the start as well, which is great. And to me, it's, it's one of probably the best master planned precincts you'll see in Sydney. It has a great balance of both the historic and the new development. It's actually been woven together. And the important thing about it was that it is a, a, a place that's open to the community outside of the site. It was very important to retain Prince Henry as a health precinct. And the partnership with uh, Lancom allowed us to secure funding to create a world-class spinal injuries unit uh, in the parks block at Randwick. There are a number of public art installations here um, that commemorate different aspects of the hospital's history. People love the openness of the site and the fact that they can wander around and they can learn and hear different stories about the site. And even just putting quotes from Henry Lawson that relate to time that he spent here, it reminds people that this is a site with a, a much longer history. Today, the Prince Henry site is striking. It's striking that it still looks like an historic site. It now really is a model redevelopment in terms of how new development can be integrated into an historic site. People often say, oh, if you've got an historic site, you can't have new development on it. But the Prince Henry site really gives lie to that. I think the Prince Henry site at Little Bay is an exemplar in urban renewal, anchored in the heritage values of a site. To actually change a hospital into a vibrant residential community is fantastic. It's a legacy project for Landcom, but I think they've done more than just create a new residential precinct. They've actually honoured the values of the site and the people who used to live and work here. So it's a legacy to the contribution of those medical workers as well.